If you're a person who is currently using Microsoft Edge on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and you notice that it's currently slow, then in today's video, I'm going to show you how to speed this up and also how to increase the download speed for a better use and better performance, right? So the first thing that you want to do, guys, is just simply open up your Edge browser. So let me go ahead and click the Windows icon here and here on the pin, you can find the Edge. Otherwise, all you have to do is just simply type Edge and you should see Microsoft Edge here. So you want to go ahead and open up Edge browser. Now, the first thing you want to do, just click this three dots in the top right hand side and go to extensions and you will see this little pop up here comes up. You want to click. Here where you see manage extensions so go ahead and click on that and this should open up extensions here for you and you will see that you're under the section that says my extensions now if you have a bunch of extensions there then you will see those extensions so whichever extensions that you're not using you want to go ahead and you want to disable or remove those extensions so you can basically click to toggle to, to, to enable or to disable those extensions and you can also click the option that says remove right so you can basically remove those extensions right so that's the first thing that you want to do now the next thing that you want to do you now guys simply click the three dots again on the top right hand side and you want to simply go to settings now once you're inside settings you want to go ahead and click start home and new tabs on this left hand side from the option so go ahead and click on that and here you will find three options here on the when it start you want to ensure that you select the option that says open these pages and here you can see that i currently have google set to my page but if you don't have any page set all you have to do is just simply click add a new page and just simply type in your url and click add and this will add it for you now you see that i have two of them so i can go ahead and i can delete one but that's all you have to do just go ahead and add a page if you don't have any page set up right now once you finish adding your page the next option that you want to choose is cookies and site permissions you can find that as well two levels down right from the left hand side so you want to go ahead and click on cookies and site permissions and here you will find a bunch of permissions now these three permissions which is location camera and microphone you want to ensure that these three is currently set to ask first and in order to do that you want to ensure that block and allow is set to no site available right and in order to set these as ask first all you have to do just simply click on any one of them and ensure that it is enabled you will see where it says ask before accessing recommended and it's turned on so if it's off it will look like that and when you go back you will see that it is set to block so you want to ensure that they're on and set to ask first right so once you do that it will look like this now as the last step guys you want to basically click in the search bar here and you want to go to flags so in order to do that it's basically flags you will see it here you just want to go to edge colon forward slash forward slash flags right and you want to simply go to flags here now once you're there all you have to do is just simply search for parallel and you will file parallel downloads you can type parallel downloads or you can simply type downloads and you should see it within the list now here you can see that i already have it enabled and this is what you want to do parallel downloads allow you to accelerate download speed and this works for mac windows linux android right and once you have this enabled this will enhance the speed of your microsoft edge browser to give you a fast better and smooth use with your microsoft edge now once you do all of this guys all you have to do is just simply go ahead and close out of your edge browser and go ahead and restart your computer and come back and try using your edge browser again no guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time